Today we are turning all these home cooked ingredients into one, two, three, four, and five burritos. Let's get ourselves prepared. We are going to make lots and lots of burritos today. Today we are working on breakfast burritos. We have a whole list of burritos that I wrote here. Just some ideas that I wanted to try out. It is about 9.35 in the morning. We're gonna see how many of these burritos we can make. I have purchased uh, three packs of these eight large, extra large flour tortillas that we're gonna use. We like to use the large ones. They are huge because you can't make a burrito that is small with a small little tortilla. I mean, what kind of a burrito are you making? So we're making some burritos. Let's get cooking. Start time, 9.45. I actually had to go around and do a few things. First, we're gonna strain and rinse the lentils that we soaked overnight. We do this to help aid in the digestion of the lentils. We also wanna prep all of our vegetables that we are using, and then this is our lineup for today. All whole foods, all plant-based, and ready to get cooking. I have the oven started to preheat at 425 for roasting a few things, and we're gonna start prepping the items that take the longest to cook. We are gonna be making a roasted beet hummus, which is gonna be so delicious and so good for you. So we have here some little baby beets that we got from the store. And then just for some extra toastiness, I did add about a quarter of the cooked chickpeas that I'm going to use for the hummus, just to toast up to get a little nutty. You can season it however you want. I added some fennel seeds and some salt and hemp oil. This is going to go into a preheated oven at 425 convection oven, and we are just going to check on it in about, I would say, 20 minutes. Now we are prepping the sweet potatoes that are going into the same burrito. This is gonna be a delicious, spicy sweet potato and hummus burrito. So chop up your sweet potatoes. You can leave the skin on. I usually do just for added flavor, for added fiber, and all the nutrients. You're going to grapeseed oil it or any oil that you would like, some smoked paprika and ancho chili powder, a little bit of spicy chipotle, and also some salt, of course. Once it's all nice and mixed, we're going to lay it flat and put it in the oven in the same oven at the same temperature as the beets. The next item I wanted to get started on is the cheesy sauce for sort of a bean and cheese burrito. We are gonna make a sauce out of cauliflower. You know that we love cauliflower here and if you have not, check out our large family vegan grocery haul that we just recently did showing you how much cauliflower we bought. And if you have some cashews laying around, you can boil maybe a cup of cashews in the cauliflower as well, just to make it that much creamy and delicious. We are now prepping for a potato curry type of burrito. I got the inspiration from Indian samosa, so I called it the samosa burrito. So in a pot, I have some onions and carrots here that are going to saute with some ginger and some grapeseed oil. I also have some russet potatoes here that we are chopping up into cubes. We don't peel anything around here, maybe except for cucumbers and zucchinis. We like to leave all the skin on just for added flavor, nutrition, and fiber. In goes the potatoes with all the other vegetables. We're going to season it with some salt, cumin powder, garam masala, coriander powder, all of the delicious Indian warm spices. I also added some turmeric for some extra golden color. Once it is all nice and mixed up and toasted, I added some water just a little under the level of the potatoes. It is going to slowly cook down, so you just wanna make sure that it, there's enough water and just keep an eye out on it. Checking on the cauliflower with the fork. It is fork tender. We are ready to make this a cheese sauce. I am salting it. Uh, adding some nutritional yeast, about two tablespoons here, some turmeric just for color, some onion powder, and some grapeseed oil. Using a hand mixer, we're just going to blend it until nice and smooth. If you added the cashews in here, trust me, that really does make a difference. It makes the sauce really nice and thick, and it is actually quite soft to blend, so you don't have to worry about breaking the blender. I forgot to set the timer for our vegetables, but when I smelled it, I knew it was ready. These vegetables are ready for blending and preparing for the burritos. So I'm just going to put the sweet potatoes off to a side and it's ready to make burritos with. 
Whenever I cook in the kitchen, I like to multitask. If you do this, I would suggest that you make sure that you are stirring everything and keep your eye on everything. We are making a very quick lentil filling. We call it the lentil taco filling. In a separate pot next to the samosa filling, we are sauteing some onions in grapeseed oil. We added about two cups of lentils and seasoned it with a taco type seasoning with cumin, smoked paprika, I did some ancho chili powder, some oregano or Italian seasoning, and then we're just going to add a little bit of water here to cook the lentils through. I have my first taste tester here. Israel's gonna try out the samosa filling, and it looks like he approves. So here we have about two cups of cooked chickpeas. We are adding this to the bowl along with the beets. I'm going to add the juice of one lime. You can absolutely use lemon if you have. We added about a quarter cup to half a cup of water just to get the chickpeas going without adding too much oil. Then we added some extra virgin olive oil here. Of course, season to taste with salt, with pepper. And you are going to use the same hand blender or if you have just a, any stand blender, you can definitely use it. We just used a handy dandy hand blender. This samosa filling cooked for about, I would say 15, 20 minutes. We made sure we stirred it, added water if needed, and we added some frozen peas and finished with some chopped cilantro. All right, we planned on adding romaine lettuce or any type of lettuce that we had in every single burrito just to add some additional veggies in our burritos. I finally chopped some lettuce and we're just going to prep this in a bowl. The last few things we are prepping is some cauliflower and mushroom filling for the cauliflower and mushroom burritos. We have our cast iron skillet out with some grapeseed oil here. We're going to saute it with some onions. You can use red or yellow onions. I then just added some of the mushrooms here and then some chopped cauliflower. And Israel is gonna give me a hand and cook this down. Season it however you like. I have here the usual suspects, the smoked paprika, onion powder, Italian seasonings. We're going to cook this on medium high all the way until the water dissipates from the mushrooms. Woo, we have all of the filling done, ready to make some burritos. One thing I haven't made yet was the beans for our bean and cheese burrito. We made this very easy just to make it accessible for those of you who use canned beans. So we just used a can of beans and seasoned it up. All of our filling is nicely prepped. They are all vegan, whole food, plant-based. Look at all the delicious colors. So let's start with our first burrito. Starting off with our bean and cheese burrito, we are going to start off with some of that cheesy, delicious sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of those seasoned canned beans. We're gonna add some chopped lettuce next. Use some more of that cheesy sauce. And it's time to roll up our first burrito. We have a skillet in the background warming up to toast these up just so that it seals the seams of the burritos. And once the seam has been sealed and it's nice and golden brown, let's open this up. This was so easy and so delicious. Next, let's work on the cauliflower mushroom burrito. First, we layer on the lettuce and some cheese sauce. Add a generous amount of the mushrooms and cauliflower mix. This mix is so tasty by itself. Now we're gonna add some sprouts here just for some extra amino acids and fiber. Add a drizzle of that cheese sauce on the sprouts themselves as well. And it is rolling time. And voila, this is what it looks like on the inside. How delicious is that? On to the beautiful spicy sweet potato and roasted beet hummus burrito. Let's add a generous schmear of this hummus. Add some lettuce right here. Add your spicy sweet potatoes. These were so, so delicious. Of course, dollop some more of that hummus if you like, and then it's time to roll it up, toast it, and this is what it looks like on the inside. On to this deliciously flavorful burrito, the samosa burrito. The samosa filling by itself is already so flavorful and so delicious. You don't really even need a sauce. So we're just layering some lettuce and then we just added the samosa filling, wrapped it up, toasted it up on the cast iron skillet, and there you go. 
last but not least, we have the lentil taco burrito. I totally forgot we should have definitely included a salsa here. So we started off with some guacamole. We have some lettuce here and we're going to just give it a generous top of the lentils. This is where you can go crazy with the salsa, you know, maybe put some cherry tomatoes in here, jalapenos, anything you think would go in a taco. We love our guacamole, so we added some more here and it is ready to wrap and toast. The kids said this burrito tastes just like the Chipotle burrito. I am so proud of our burrito creation. Now, even though I said these were breakfast burritos, you can totally make these for lunch as well. Just make a bunch of these burritos. You can mix and match the filling. Put it in a Ziploc bag. You can freeze these. You can eat them over the week. Now, we didn't get everything made as planned, but that is okay. We did pretty good with the time we had. Thank you so much for joining us in this video. Let us know in the comments below which one you would like to try and which one looks the best to you. We hope you loved spending time with us today in the kitchen and we hope to see you on the next video. Subscribe and we will see you soon. Take care guys, bye.